In this video, I wanna talk about one of my favorite books and concepts, Power Versus Force, and how this plays into your reality. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. One of my favorite books that I've ever read in concepts is the concept of power versus force. But mainly within the book, Dawkins goes through a way to understand how things really work versus how we think they work. Linear versus exponential. That's gonna be the first thing that we talk about. Humans think that everything is linear, i.e. we think we put in a certain amount of work and a certain amount of output happens. But what we don't realize is for every day that we do work, we're building on top of the day. So the work that is done is actually moving in an exponential value, which leads to an exponential gain. That is one thing to hold in your mind before we go into this topic. Step number two is law of attraction. How do we think about law of attraction versus how would law of attraction actually work? And so to think about that, what we have to understand is that every single choice that you ever make sends off a yes or a no. So think about this like in light switches. Once you pick yes or no, then you are next prompted with the options that the yes and no go to. Did you choose then the other yes and no? And so this is actually how binary works. Zero or one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And by choosing the zero or the one, the yes or the no to fill the space, what ends up happening is you create a calculation which then brings about the thing that you were trying to get, i.e. law of attraction, then pulls forward to you the thing that you actually wanted. That's the second concept. Now that we have both of those concepts, what in Power Verse 4 he talks about is the concept of when we think about how we get something, we think about it in A to B to C, the linear. And the linear is the way that we shape things in our mind. That's how we get something. On the other hand, the way that things actually work, especially when using power instead of force, and I'll talk about that in a minute, is A to C, B to C, A to B to C. There's many different routes to get there. And so, we often can't gauge whether we're at A or we're at B when we go to C, but the reality is that many times we are at B to C or we're at A and we go to C. And that is similarly what the law of attraction brings to us. And so to understand the concept of power versus force, we have to understand that everything consciously sits at different vibrational levels. The different emotions that we hold lead to different behaviors, i.e. fear or anger, or sadness or neutrality, which is actually a turning point to positivity because otherwise there's contrast. And before we're at neutrality, we experience the negative emotions. And after neutrality, we can finally fully experience love. And that is when A to C starts to happen. So I know this might be difficult because these are mathematical calculations in a sense, but all you need to do is understand the concept of the more that you try to force things and you try to force things in a linear fashion of, if I do this, I will get this, the less that you will actually get this because you're more working at a depreciating value. But the more that you understand that small consistent things that benefit you oh, time and time again, whether that's just a mindset or whether that's an active act of working, that's when you will slowly build the life that you want to have, utilizing power instead of force in a way that lets you go from A to C instead of A to B to C. So I hope that video helped you. If this concept resonates with you at all, make sure to press the like button. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Mm -hmm.